dear student today we are going to discuss integers this topic is from class 7 mathematics this is the first chapter and uh, you have studied uh, integers in uh, class 6 also so here the topics of today's discussion is integers this is the first chapter of class 7 mathematics now integers whenever we do integers let us recall some of the things which we have studied in class 6 so there we have studied numbers whole numbers and uh, negative numbers right so here n this integers means it is a bigger collection of number where we have natural number whole number and negative numbers so natural numbers means the number which generally we use for counting whenever some objects are given we use the number generally 1 2 3 4 5 etc and this number are nothing but counting number or natural number now and the whole numbers whole number is generally 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 here you have seen the difference because in case of natural number the number were from 1 2 3 4 5 6 and here we and it is like this we have many numbers because we can't say that when number stops that we don't know because there are so many numbers so this is a whole number whenever we talk about negative numbers and here you have seen that for every number like number 1 we have a uh, successor 2 like for 2 we have a successor 3 and for 3 we have a successor 4 for 4 we have a successor 5 so that we have and here we have observed one pattern that uh, if we add one with the numbers or the whole number we are getting the next number this is called pattern and mathematics is nothing but a study of pattern whenever we study mathematics or anything first you try to find whether there is any pattern or not now uh, in case of because we have already said that integers are nothing but it is a bigger collection of number so bigger collection of number so whole number sir we have discussed and natural number we have discussed so there is a one more thing we have introduced negative numbers negative number like minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 so in this number suppose we have 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 like that and this side we have number minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 this will constitute integers so integers means integers mean we have natural number whole number and negative number my dear students my humble submission is that whenever you study mathematics you try to understand all the vocabulary term because if we can understand each and every term of mathematics then you can enjoy the mathematics mathematics is very enjoyable subject so i request you all that whenever you study mathematics you try to understand because you, we have taken here today integers and we have one by one from where you have studied nature counting number whole number negative number so if we understand each and every term then uh, we'll understand the integers or now others um, um, topic or concept very easily so here basically in this chapters we will study properties and operations properties means what will happen if we add one number because in case of whole number you have seen that if we add two whole number we will get whole number right and uh, uh, here in case of integers we also see whether this is happen or not because operation means generally we understand operation means we have these four fundamental operations like plus minus 
multiplications and division. So, these are our fundamental operation. So, we are studying today integers. So, in this case we will see what will happen when two integers are added, when two integers are subtract, two integers are multi we multiply. So, one of the important concept in integers is number line. Suppose this is a line, this is a line and here we can take this as 0, right? this is 0 central point. So, here one side will consider this is positive side and this is negative side or if you wish we can consider this side also positive and this side also negative, this is your choice. So, in case of number line, so this is our 0, so here this is maybe 1, this may be 2, this may be 3, this may be 4, 5, 6 and this is your minus 1, this is your minus 2, this is your minus 3, this is your minus 4 and so on because this side also numbers are going and this side also numbers are going. So, this is called number line and here whenever we draw the number line we have to think we have to always consider this the distance between 0 1 this distance and this distance should be equal 0 1 distance and 1 and 2 distance 2 and 3 we can take any unit but any measurement but length but this should be equal and here we can take any number number is suppose 5 and 6. So, we can mark this on the number line and we can say that or we can verify from this that which one is bigger and which one is smaller. Suppose 5 will be this is positive 5, so 5 will be here. So, this point may be the 5 so, and 6 is here, 6 is here. So, 5 if we consider if we consider the distance from 0, so we have obviously this is your our 5 and this is your our 6. So, from the line also we can understand that 6 is greater than 5 and so we can write in this case that 6 is greater than 5. So, any number is given. So, those number we can represent in the number line because number representations and uh, <coughs> two points are given here with the help of suppose we have two uh, operations 5 plus 6 is given 5 plus 6 is given we can find addition with the help of number line. Suppose number where 5 plus 6. So, ordinary method we know that this is equal to 11, right. So, same thing we can find out with the help of number line. So, maybe we can consider this is our 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 3, minus 4, etcetera. So, we have this side also number. So, this is positive 5 and also this is positive 5. So, we will consider from 0 this is your uh, positive 5 and positive 6. So, this side we have 5 or we can say that we have re gone from 0 to 5. Again we have gone how many steps? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is 6 steps we can go in one jump also and we can go by step by step also. Initially, if we go step by step by step, this is also good 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this is our 5, this is our 6 and total if, if we count from the 0, we will get that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. If you study with a <coughs> understanding and with activity, with joyful manner you can make this subject very interesting and this is our main aim. So, so this is our operations like, so any number is given ascending order, descending order like 5, 6, 7, 8, right, 9 whatever is given. 
you can represent them on the number line and suppose <coughs> we have 10, 11, minus 10, minus 5, minus 6, minus 4, etc. So, we can represent them. Suppose we have a number like 0, suppose we have taken minus 5, minus 10, minus 3, 4, 5. So, this number we can represent in the number line and we can say that or we can conclude that which one is greater and which one is smaller. Because generally this side our positive side and this side our negative side, right. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This side will be minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, right. So, we can minus 5. So, this way we can come up to minus 10. So, minus 6, minus 7, minus 8, minus 9 and this may be minus 10. So, here minus 3, this is our point 0. So, here positive side we have 4. So, from this 10 1, 2, 3, 4. So, this is our 4 point, right, this distance and this side is your 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this is our 5, this is our 4, this must have jump and this is our 5 and this side 5 is there. So, we come to the left hand side. So, we have a 5. So, here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, this is our minus 5 and this is will be our minus 10 will be like this we can come 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, this side is minus 10 or you can do you have already come up to minus 5 here. From here only you can start that minus 6, minus 7. So, like this also you can do it and we can see the which number is in the right that number is in the or that number we can say that that is the greatest number from the 0 this 5. 5 position is here. So, 5 number is the greatest number here. So, 5 and then 4, then your minus 3, minus 5 and minus 10. So, any number we can take, we can take true number, 3 number, 4 number, 5 number and we can represent all those numbers on the number line and we can verify that which one is the greatest and which one is the smallest. The number lying to the right side, extreme right will be the greatest and the extreme left will be the smallest. So, any number is given, we can arrange them in, we know very well that ascending and descending order. Ascending orders means the number from like we have a set of number, <coughs> we have a set of number 5, 6, 2, 3, 7, 9. Ascending means number from like smallest one, smallest one here is 2, then 3, then 5, 6, 7, no, 9. So, this side if we consider number from here 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 9, this is in ascending order and we can write like this. Right? This is the ascending order. So, descending order will be and descending means from greatest to the smallest, right? just reverse of this. So, any number you can take and uh, we can uh, play that uh, which one is the greatest one you can consider 5 number. In the beginning take 5 number, then 6 number, then 7 number, then 10 number, first you may take 1 digit number, then you can take 2 digit number, then you can take 3 digit number, then you can find ascending and descending order.
because understanding each and every term is very important in mathematics. When two positive integers are added, we get two positive integers. So, we will take two positive integers. We know that two is a positive integer, three also is a positive integer. So, a statement that we have to verify whether this statement is correct or not correct. So, this is our purpose. So, two positive integers we have taken and this we can verify by both the method. So, ordinary method if we do 2 plus 3 we will get 5. So, this is positive because we know because since we have studied natural number, whole number, number line and uh, negative numbers also. Now, at this stage we know the positive numbers right positive integer. So, this is positive integer. Now, the statement is given that whether this is true or not. So, in case of taking positive number and by our ordinary operations, we have seen that this is a positive number and the same thing we can verify taking a number line. So, number line we know that this is may be our number line. So, we have number 2. So, 2 will be in the right side. So, this is our positive side. So, 1, 2, this represents 2 and this 3, 3 represents uh, 1, 2, 3. Since it is a additions, in case of additions, we have to move right hand side. So, here this is u 3. So, as a whole if you get, if we consider from 0, we will get 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, this is we are getting 5. So, this is <coughs> 5. So, here in case of number, in case of number, if we can take in the number line also, we get positive 5. So, here I have taken two positive integer, you can take another positive integer suppose 5 and 7, because to verify one statement generally if you take uh, two or three examples is better. So, here again we have considered number 5 and 7 and taking 5 and 7 also similarly you can verify that this is also lies on the right hand side of the number line. So, this statement is true in the second case also and you can take slightly bigger number like 15 and like 27, this also to positive integer and you can first you can add, you will find that this is a positive integer, second you can try this in the number line. So, again you will get this is also a positive integer. So, this statement is true. Now, we shall check one more statement. This statement is when two negative integers are added, we get a positive integer. We have to verify whether this is correct or not. So, we have two negative integers. So, we can take negative integer minus 5 minus 7. So, we have to add this negative integers and what we will get generally minus 5 minus 7 because we can add like this 7. So, if you add we may get this is your minus 12. So, this thing our statement was that when two negative integers are added we get a positive integers, but here we have found negative integers. When two negative integers is added generally what happen when two negative integers are added we have to because 5 minus 5 is there minus 7 is there. Generally, we add this 2 and we will uh, put the sign of negative. So, here 5 and 7 we are adding and we are giving the sign minus. So, this we can verify with the help of our number line. So, we will verify the statement that uh, 2 negative number whenever we are added whether we will get positive number or negative number. Our statement was that when two negative numbers we add, we should get positive numbers. So, we have taken number minus 5 and minus 7 and we have seen that when minus 5 and minus 7 are added, we, we get minus 12 and this same thing we can verify with the help of number line. 
first we will take this number we have minus 5, then we take minus 7, we will see that what we get when we represent, uh, when we add two negative integer taking on the number line. So, minus 5 we can write this as or consider this as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Only in case of minus we have to consider the left hand side of the number line, in case of positive number we have to consider right hand side. So, here we reach this is our minus 5, again we have minus 7. So, again from here we will go how many steps left side? 7 steps. So, this is your 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, finally, we reach that up to we have reach minus 12. So, whenever two negative integers added, we get negative integer. So, our statement was wrong. Similarly, uh, you can develop or make some of the statements you can and you can yourself verify whether this statement is right or wrong, because verifying also a one of the important skill in mathematics. Now, we come to the another concept that is called additive inverse in integers, because additive inverse means we understand that suppose there is a number 1, right, number 1 and this additive inverse may be minus 1 because if we add this two number, we should get 0 and this same thing we can see in the number line also. Suppose 2 is there, if this two number we add, right, if this two number we add, then we will get this is equal to 0. So, suppose this is our number line, right, this is our 0 and this is our 1 this is our 2, this is our 3 and similarly we can consider this is our minus 1, this is minus 2, so minus 3. So, we have taken the sum of 1 and minus 1. So, this side may be our 1, we have gone this side, then again we have come to the this side. So, this side was our plus 1 and this side is our minus 1. So, if we add, we will get 0. So, any number we can take like 10, if we take 10, the additive inverse will be minus 10. If you take minus 10, additive inverse will be plus 10. If we take 76, additive inverse will be minus 76. If you take uh, minus 76, additive inverse will be 76. So, the purpose of this that if the particular number suppose 2 and another number if we add, we should get 0. This is called therefore, minus 2 is the additive inverse of 2 or we can say that minus 2 is the additive inverse of 2, vice versa we can say. So, this way like 5 we can take additive inverse of 5 is minus 5 and minus 5 additive inverse is 5. So, that way both way we can uh, apply or we can say and if we add this 2, we should get 0. So, this way uh, this is another concept because I have already told you whenever we will keep on studying different subject, we are keep on getting different different terminology. If that terminology will understand, we can learn mathematics in a better way and we can solve many more problem. So, students today we have uh, discussed integers and during our discussions we have cover natural number, whole number, negative number, number line and uh, ascending number, descending number and uh, additive inverse and uh, we have verified some of the statement and we hope that you have understood the topic and with the help of this you can start your exercise and start reading the mathematics joyfully. Thank you very much. <laughs>